The primary species of fish raised is kokanee salmon in 64 individual raceways using well water. This satellite view shows a hatchery's location on the south bank of the Clark Fork River about one mile downstream from Cabinet Gorge Dam, which is owned by the Avista Utility Company. The dam is on the right side of the picture and the hatchery, denoted by red letters, is on the left side of the picture. This downstream view of Cabin Gorge Dam shows the Clark Fork River at peak flow over 100,000 cubic feet per second. The dam was built in 1952 and was funded by the United States Department of Defense. This was one of the hydroelectric dams that caused the Cabinet Gorge fish hatchery to be built. The dam does not have fish ladders which would allow migrating fish to travel upstream. The dam produces 231 megawatts, which is enough electricity for 115,000 homes. Shown is a Francis turbine blade from one of the four generators at the dam. It is possible for a blade like this, powered by part of the river flow, spinning with the equivalent of 70,000 horsepower, to impede the downstream passage of fish. The journey of the kokanee begins in the fall when eggs and sperm from the spawning kokanee are collected at Granite Creek on the east shore of Lake Ponderé. The fertilized eggs are then transported to the Cabinet Gorge fish hatchery to continue their development. After about six months of growth at the hatchery, the two-inch baby kokanee, also called fry, are loaded into fish and game tank trucks and transported to the lake or stream where they will be unloaded into the water. The fish will travel through the lake and hopefully return about four years later to the spot where they were unloaded so that the spawning process can be repeated for a new generation. A crew of three people net, lift, and dump the fish into the top of the tank truck. I jumped out of when I had the chance. I joined the army and I went to France at Roosevelt's request. Two weeks of sitting in the mud made me lie to the man that I could drive a truck for the Red Ball Express. One of the trucks has been reloaded and now unloads its cargo of fish in the Trestle Creek boat launch. After the fish are released into the lake, each of the multiple tanks inside the truck is flushed with lake water using a portable pump.
Shown from left to right at the end of the day are Clem Yonker, President of the Master Naturalist Volunteer Group, Lori Getz, Secretary of the Group, and John Rankin, the Cabinet Gorge Fishery Manager.